Hi guys, it's Cornei again. It is still the 8th of uh, November 2017. Uh, we're all at the end of a, a London session. Uh, New York's going to start soon. Um, somebody asked me how, if I get the setup on the H4, um, how do I, uh, when do, how do I decide when to enter on, on a smaller time frame? Now I'm going to show you. I just enter one now. Uh, it is on the Chef JPY daily. Now, first of all, I first look at the main trend. Um, if the main trend is down, I only need to take puts or calls. Uh, I mean, uh, short. Um, if the main trend is up, I only need to looking to go long. Now, if you look at the main trend here on the Chef JPY, I look at structure. There's a high, a lower high, a lower high, a lower high. Okay, now let's look at the lows. There is a low, a lower low, lower low, lower low. Clearly the, the trend is down. Now, then I look at the area here. Is there a resistance? Now, let's look left. We see here it's some resistance. Look here, this resistance was... Uh, look at this purple line, huh? there's a resistance. Look here, how was that resistance, that weeks it's, it respected. Here at the bottom, at the top. At the bottom, at the bottom, very strong resistance area again where I am. And you can see here, um, the, the daily, for the last four days, it respected. So it clearly this thing like to go down. That's on the four hour. Uh, I don't take go down because um, of this. I need to get confirmation on a lower time frame. Now let's do it. I go now to the four hour. What do we see here? Okay, basically why I decided to take this trade. Look what happened here. The market came down. Um, this is a, like a resistance area as we I show you guys. And then I have the market come up, come down, go up, come down. So I have like a, a M here. And this bar close bearish. Um, on the second leg. This is the first leg, the second leg. It close bearish. Indicate for me this thing want to go down. So this is a setup. Now I'm looking at the smaller time frame. How do I know when to go in? Let's go to that. Uh, if you go to the lower time frame, I was about here. And then I look at price action. I go to the one minute. And you see here, the price go up, make a double, bottom, the second leg take it off. But long week, I don't long like, like the long week, so leave it. I watch price again, comes up again, uh, come down, goes up again. And then I have another bearish engulfing pattern on the second leg with no wick at the bottom. So there I enter, boom, price came again and it keep respecting that area. It keep respecting that area. And this is where I enter, boom. So this is how I look. Um, that, uh, so price went down all the way and suddenly it starts to come up again. So I look for a second reason to enter. Let's go to that. Right. So there was a first inter, entry, and then price came down, and suddenly price went up crazy. And I get nervous, and I watch it. I see prices at the bands, at the bands, move away a little bit, it's good news. Uh, and then, look here, it went far away from that band, so that's what I look, I see weakness. And price goes up, 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 and it went away from the bands. Then, what I do here, I look for... A hidden divergence. Hidden divergence, you only find it with a trend. So hidden divergence, we see price is making a, a lower high, but the RSI is higher. So it's hidden divergence, and on a hidden divergence, um, we can look at the space away from the bands, we get a bearish engulfing pattern there. Boom. And this is where I enter the second uh, trade. Boom. So I, I'm, I'm with two trades in this one. Um, so that's how I do it. All right. Um, now I want to show you guys other trade. I took profit on a US cat uh, late, late last night. I enter here. Um, but we have M here. Price went up, come down, went up again. We didn't have a bearish engulfing pattern. You can be very technical and say, well, this, this week did take out that thing, um, things like that. Uh, but I take, take the chance there, I look at the smaller time frame, and I decide to go in there and watch it. Um, you can look at my YouTubes on a US cat. I make a, a few times this week money there. 
and then are uh, looking where to take profit. I see, you see, we have a swing low here. That pin are gonna put the bar there, and look here, it came and it hit my take profit. So from that point till this point, another 45 pips. Um, so is my third trade today. The first one I make um, 20 pips, and then 35, and now 45. So so far I'm up 100, 100 pips for the day. And for the three days of a week, I am up 347 pips. So this is how I do the smaller time frame to see how to get in. I hope that will help. Thank you guys and girls. Okay, before I forget, if you like what I show you and you want to see more, please go to the, the YouTube at the bottom and hit thumbs up. Then I know you guys like it and want to see more. Thank you.